Being constantly under the spotlight is all fun and games until it starts taking a toll on your health. It ain't easy being a seven-time Olympic medalist. Yep, we're talking about Simone Biles. If Simone's having second thoughts and weighing her options, honestly, we get it. In this video, we'll talk about Simone and her thoughts on being a part of the Paris 2024 Olympics. Let's get right into it. First up, Simone Biles hasn't shut the doors on Olympics just yet. The 25-year-old Olympic medalist discussed the prospect of competing in gymnastics in the Paris 2024 Olympics during her appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden on Wednesday. Simone believed that she still needed to mentally and physically recover right now, which is why she'll be in Paris. She just doesn't know in what capacity, though. It can be as a spectator or athlete, so we'll just have to wait and watch, we guess. But hey, Simone Biles may still compete in future Olympics. The 24-year-old Biles said on the Today program that she's leaving the doors open for a possible comeback to the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. Simone talked about how she kind of recognizes what she's done with her career. Because after 2016, she didn't quite get to do that. Life just moves so rapidly. And after all that went down in the last five years, she now has a stronger appreciation for life. In around two years, Biles will be around 27. And it's an age by which most elite gymnasts tend to retire. It's great that Simone Biles hasn't ruled out making another appearance on the Olympic stage. Coming up, what exactly went down in Tokyo? Biles had unmatched expectations going into the Tokyo Games. After winning an incredible four gold medals at the 2016 Rio Olympics, however, her time at the eagerly anticipated 2021 Olympics didn't exactly go as planned. So what happened was that the COVID-19 pandemic forced the 2020 Tokyo Olympics to be moved to 2021. And when Biles withdrew from the gymnastics competition in the middle of it, everyone was in shock. So, why did she withdraw? The short answer is, because she's human. The slightly longer answer to it is that when Simone completed one of her most important maneuvers in her career, using only her mind instead of her hands, feet, legs, torso, or arms. It happened in just a second. The most crucial moment was when Biles went upside down and spun through the air. At that moment, something in her brain shifted, and she became completely disoriented and lost the sense of where she was in the air. Biles said that she has no idea how she managed to land on her feet on that vault, because if you look at the photographs and her eyes, you can see how uncertain she was as to where she was in the air. She also said she was glad she landed safely. And if we're being real, Biles' choice becomes even more understandable when you take into account just how precise gymnasts have to be in order to compete at an Olympic level, but also to maintain their physical safety. Next up, this is where she decided to withdraw. After a notably mediocre vault attempt, Biles withdrew from the final competition, saying that her mental health might potentially hurt her team's hopes of winning a medal. The decision to withdraw was completely her own. She wasn't pressured to do it. Yes, it shocked the gymnastics community and made it to the biggest headlines, but Biles told the media that she didn't want to go into any of the other events second-guessing herself. And this is why she decided that taking a step back might be helpful. Following the incident, the legendary Olympian disclosed that she was also coping with a family tragedy because her aunt had unexpectedly passed away. Not to mention, her decision sparked a dialogue on mental health. Files told the reporters, My mental and physical wellness is above all medals that I could possibly win. Following the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games in the summer of last year, Files took a break from all the training and competition. Her decision to prioritize her mental health by pulling out out of several medal finals prompted an international dialogue about mental health in the Olympics. Later that year, she told reporters that she had received so much love and support from fans, family, and friends. She felt blessed to be in this position and that so many people expressed their respect and love for her. It made her feel quite lucky. Simone said that it shed completely new light on the sport, not just as athletes, but also as human beings. It's times like these when people really do surprise you, right? Lastly, Let's talk about the good things in Simone's life right now. Simone is super excited and knee-deep in her wedding preps, so it's not like she's spending time just dreading not being completely in on the Olympics. She's got a lot to plan for her wedding with Jonathan Owens, and as she explained, there will be bachelor and bachelorette parties. Simone also said that she thinks she's currently almost too far ahead of the wedding details. It was quite exciting for her to try on some of her dresses while she was in Los Angeles. We mean, 
who wouldn't be? Wait, we do have an adorable story that's worth mentioning here. So Biles made fun of the awkward first date situation that made her realize that Owens was the one when asked how she knew. She went over to his apartment where his bulldog went completely nuts, wailing and peeing all over the place. To which Owens replied, well I guess he likes you. And since his dog gave Simone the approval, here she's picking out a wedding dress. It's sweet, but on a serious note, we hope the poor dog was taken to a vet later. And in other news, first up, roadmap for first phase of Paris 2024 ticket sales unveiled. With the Olympic Games less than two years away, Paris 2024 has announced some of the crucial dates for the first round of ticket sales. The next Olympic Games will provide fans with the chance to purchase multi-ticket packages, which include three competition sessions. Each randomly chosen fan will be able to create their own customized pack by selecting their preferred sports within the constraints of seat availability. It sounds pretty intriguing. We aren't going to lie. Starting on December 1st, 2022 and concluding on January 31st, 2023, participants must register for a draw to be entered to win a 48-hour purchase spot. Those who are chosen at random from the draw will thereafter be qualified to build their multi-ticket package. Those who are fortunate enough to be chosen at random starting on February 15th, 2023, will get an email with a purchasing spot that allows them to build a multi-ticket package for 48 hours. The public sale of single tickets will be the next step. By the end of 2023, a resale process will be held for tickets that the general public had acquired but had not purchased, allowing supporters another opportunity to be a part of the games. Up next, Paris 2024 construction work impacted due to protest in France. At the Olympic construction site in Seine Saint Denis, about 500 workers gathered before joining a procession that passed through the city. After the French government promised yesterday to push forward pension reform by the end of the winter, despite union resistance, construction at the Olympic Village is still in jeopardy, as protesters ponder starting a fresh wave of strikes. Even though left-wing political parties and several unions, including the largest in the nation, are gearing up efforts over demands to raise the pension age, none of them participated in yesterday's protest. Less than two years remain until Paris 2024, and one of the organizers' major concerns is keeping the budget balanced in the face of significant inflation. Industrial action won't help with it at all. The Paris 2024 Coordination Commission of the International Olympic Committee, IOC, visited Paris last month, and its chair, Pierre-Olivier Becker's Vugent, stated that the committee returned reassured. The trip consisted of a site tour of the Olympic and Paralympic Village, which will eventually contain 2,800 family apartments in addition to 14,250 athletes and officials during the Games. Becker's commented that building progress so far has been completely remarkable. Good for them! Lastly, UWW tweaks Paris 2024 qualification to give global qualifier more berths. The 2024 World Olympic qualifiers have replaced the 2023 World Championships as the third event granting slots for the Games. In the new qualification process that united world wrestling. At the 2019 World Championships, 108 quota spots, that's six per Olympic weight, were originally scheduled to be distributed during the first round of qualification. However, UWW has chosen to limit the total number of quotas available at the World Championships to 90, which makes it five each Olympic weight instead. The top two wrestlers in each Olympic weight class will earn one spot for their National Olympic Committee, and 144 wrestlers will be qualifying for Paris 2024 through the continental quotas to be held in 2024. NOC. For the final stage, the World Olympic qualifiers will now offer three quotas within every Olympic weight class instead of the two. That's it, folks. Are you looking forward to seeing Simone Biles in the Paris 2024 Olympics? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.